Yet another fire in Split Dalmatia County has taken hold of dry shrubland, this time on the Svelaya mountain range near Sing. Yesterday, firefighters on the ground were aided by water bomber planes, who dropped more than 150 loads. Due to heavy smoke causing poor visibility this morning, water bombers were unable to participate. Fire commander for the Solin region, Bojo Delic, said 60 firefighters and 20 vehicles were on the ground. Two teams from Split have arrived on the scene to support the efforts. President Kolinda Grabar-Kitarovic continued her official visit to Australia with a meeting with Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull in Canberra. The two discussed strengthening bilateral relations and investment opportunities in Croatia. The President also promised support from Zagreb as Australia begins their negotiations with the European Union on a new free trade agreement. The President has travelled to Melbourne for further meetings with state officials and members of the Croatian community. On Friday, she moves on to New Zealand. Speaking on Croatian television last night, the Chairman of the Presidency of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Dragan Čović, commented on statements made by the Bosniak representative of the Bosnia and Herzegovina Presidency, Bakir Izetbegovic, regarding objections to Croatia's Pelješac Bridge project. Chairman Čović clarified that the official stance of the government in Sarajevo was that they completely support the project. According to the Croatian Motorways Company, almost 2.5 million more cars have used the country's toll roads in the first six months of this year, representing a boost of nearly 8%. Total income from toll roads during that period was over 150 million euros, up more than 10% over the same period last year. Taking a quick look at sports in football, Croatian league champs Rijeka are in Greece tonight, where they face Olympiakos in the first leg of their UEFA Champions League qualifications matchup at 8.45 p.m. And in tennis at the ATP Masters Series 1000 tournament underway in Cincinnati, Croatia's hard-serving Ivo Karlovic defeated world number 12 Joe Wilfred Tsonga of France last night, 6-4, 7-6. The weather forecast for the rest of the day calls for mostly sunny skies. Increased cloud coverage is expected to come in from the north in the late afternoon, especially in western mountainous regions and the Istrian Peninsula. A moderate northerly and northwesterly is expected in places along the coast, bringing increased wave action. Sea temperatures will range from 23 to 26 degrees Celsius. Highs for the day will be between 29 and 34 degrees Celsius. Expect temperatures to rise steadily through till Saturday. A small chance of isolated showers is possible in the Dalmatian hinterland. Stormy weather is expected towards the end of the day on Saturday in continental regions and the northern Adriatic, as a strong southeasterly will be replaced by an even stronger northeasterly. The weather will remain stable until then, with sunny skies and above-average temperatures.